It's a very complicated process, Paul. What is ha happening is the Ecuadorian prosecutor has been here today asking questions of Julian Assange, and with him in a team is a Swedish prosecutor and a Swedish policeman. Uh, and this all stems back to those uh, sexual assault allegations going back to 2010. Though I should tell you, we've just found out uh, in the last hour, which is when um, this uh, investigation wound up for the day, that a large part of the day was spent with Julian Assange giving a statement. Um, it's, uh, th this took about eight hours today. There was, uh, it was a very long process. And it seems like a lot of that was eaten up by him giving a statement. There was a few questions at the end of that we hear and that there's going to be an in-depth uh, questioning process tomorrow at the Ecuadorian embassy. What do we know about that statement? Um, I guess he was mounting a defence, but was he going to the charges or, or was he repeating claims of uh, you know, him being a, a victim of political motivation? We don't know yet what is in that statement, but undoubtedly he will be saying that uh, he is not guilty of the allegations. He's denied them from the beginning when back in 2010 two Swedish women came forward and went to police and said in separate incidences that uh, he was guilty of uh, non-consensual sex with them, sex that started off as consensual and apparently moved to non-consensual. That is uh, what they have alleged. Julian Assange said that didn't happen. Of course, he has not been charged so far. This is still at the investigation stage six years later. So no doubt that he would deny that that was the case, no doubt, in that statement. He would also be saying that he believes he's at great risk of being extradited to the US if he's extradited to Sweden to face any of these allegations. He's, of course, worried that he may be formed a charge with some form of espionage under US law for publishing a lot of information. Remember, he published over 250,000 uh, US diplomatic cables a few years back. He, uh, he published a lot of sensitive information. And, and a number of years ago, we had uh, members of the Republican right, like Sarah Palin, saying that uh, Julian Assange should be hunted down uh, like the Taliban or like Al Qaeda now, yeah. of course, uh, a lot of members of uh, the Republican right have changed their view on that. Donald Trump was very supportive of uh, what Julian Assange did during the last election. And Steve, just uh, briefly now, what happens next? I believe the, uh, the, the uh, Swedish prosecutors who supplied the questions don't have the right to, to follow up and, and pursue other angles. Yeah, they can't follow up and ask other questions from the answers that Julian Assange gives. So what will end up happening is the Ecuadorian prosecutor will write a report about this interview. He will hand it to the Swedish authorities and then they have to decide whether this investigation goes ahead or not. Now, if it's dropped, Julian Assange could walk free from that embassy. Of course, he's also breached the Bail Act in Britain, so he may face charges on that front. But that'll be the next stage, is what is in that report and what the Swedish authorities think about it.